Business constellations are a systemic intervention, a systemic tool. And it gives us the opportunity to look at the larger system, to give the larger system a voice and a stage. And by doing that, we don't look at the symptoms on the surface, but what we're doing, we're looking at the root causes of problems. Because in organizations, when there is stuckness or people can't occupy their role or there is team conflict, it, most of the time, it's a symptom. It's a dynamic of a larger system. And by looking at uh, working with the individual or with the team, we're not fixing things for the long run. We're just fixing the symptoms. But with business constellations, we go a, a layer deeper or maybe two layers deeper. And we're looking at what is, what, what is the system telling us? Where in the system is, this, is, is, is the root of this problem? And we can also fix things. We can also change the dynamics, change the system. And in that way, the problems will really um, disappear forever and not just for a, few, for a few moments or appear somewhere else. So with business constellations, you have a very powerful tool to change your organization uh, in, a, in a good way and in a, a sustainable way. Business constellations are a, what we are doing with it is that we have representatives. We have people stand-ins for different elements of a question. Um, so, for example, you have somebody representing the organization or a certain department, or we have somebody for the market or a new marketing strategy or a new product. And by putting these people in a in a room, putting them in space, um, and then asking them to move or to ask them how they are doing, you get a lot of information because then the larger system is given a voice. They voice what the larger system um, will tell us. And you can, by, by looking at that, you can really see what is going on and where, where we should tune and where we should fix things in order to make, them make it work again. And as a facilitator, what we do is that we um, move people around, we ask people to say things, and in that way, uh, there's a balance coming back into, into the system and the dynamics change and there, there's more peace in the system. And in that way, um, yeah, that's, that's a kind of magic because after a constellation, what we see uh, is that also in the real world, the things have changed. Not only because people have changed, but it's also the surroundings that change and people that haven't been with the constellation, they change. So everything uh, moves or, or shifts a little bit and in a, in a good way. So that's what business constellations really can do. Because these days we are in a very chaotic and fast moving world. Everything is changing. There are so many parameters we need to take care of, take into account. Um, businesses are changing fast. Consumers are changing fast, and our rational mind cannot keep up with that. So we need tools to um, gather the right information in a fast way and in an easy way. And besides that, we also need tools that take into account the larger system and the larger uh, the whole instead of only the part. Because if we keep looking at the parts, um, we, we don't take advantage of what it happens, what it happens if people work, all work together. We don't use the synergy anymore. So um, business constellations are a very good way of, in these times because it takes, they, they, you really use the, the whole and, and the larger systems and they use intuitive information instead of just rational information. And in that way, you can really in this complex world, you can still find your answers in an easy way. You can use business constellations for all kinds of questions. There are questions, most of the times, questions that people are stuck, teams are stuck, there are repeating problems, there are conflict, there's something with leadership, but also for strategy, for marketing, for um, what steps do we need to take, for mergers or maybe for uh, reorganizations. And you can also use it as a team, like to do some more team building, to get the team really work together or to find out what is the real purpose of our team after a reorganization. So you can use business constellations 
at different levels in the organization and for different kind of questions. And most of the times it will be questions that with your rational mind and with your analysis, you really cannot find out what's the, what the real problem is. And that most of the time that's the, that's the moment that you can bring in business constellation because then you go beyond the ratio and the rational mind and you go beyond analysis and find other information about why is this not working in the organization and what is needed to make it work. So business constellations can be used for a variety of questions in businesses. Well, with business constellations, we always look at businesses, organizations. And with family constellations, we look at family systems. So it's more a personal development and a personal, more therapeutical way of developing yourself. And with organizational or business constellations, we are developing the organization and it's uh, more of an analytical instrument, although it's very intuitive, but it also gives you information that you as a manager or a management team, you can make decisions, you can change your uh, strategy based on the on the what you see in the business constellations. So business constellations are more a little bit more rational, or you can use it in a rational environment, and it's it's non not personal. Although sometimes in business constellations, it's it's about people because businesses and organizations are about people, and sometimes you really get to some personal issues. But most of the time, we leave that for what it is, or we just notice it and then we go on with the business question. Um, so organizational and business constellations um, are really suited for, for businesses and for management. Uh, instead of family constellations, what, what is more for personal coaching and for personal development. 